Judges chapter 18. In those days, there was no king in Israel. And in those days, the tribe of the Danites sought them an inheritance to dwell in. For to that day, all their inheritance had not fallen to them among the tribes of Israel. And the children of Dan sent of their family five men from their coast, men of valor from Zorah and from Eshtoel, to spy out the land and to search it. And they said to them, Go search the land, who when they came to Mount Ephraim, to the house of Micah, they lodged there. When they were by the house of Micah, they knew the voice of the young man, the Levite, and they turned in there and said to him, Who brought you here? And what make you in this place? And what have you here? And he said to them, Thus and thus deals Micah with me, and has hired me, and I am his priest. And they said to him, Ask counsel, we pray you, of God, that we may know whether our way which we go shall be prosperous. And the priest said to them, Go in peace before the Lord is your way wherein you go. Then the five men departed and came to Laish and saw the people that were therein, how they dwelled careless after the manner of the Zidians, quiet and secure, and there was no magistrate in the land that might put them to shame in anything that they were far from the Zidians and had no business with any man. And they came to their brethren to Zohar, to Eshel, and to their brethren, said to them, What say you? And they said, Arise, that we may go up against them, for we have seen the land, and behold, it is very good. And are you still? Be not slothful to go and to enter, the, to possess the land. When you go, you shall come to a people secure." and to a large land, for God has given it into your hands a place where there is no want of anything that is in the earth. And there went from there of the family of the Danites out of Zorah and out of Eshtal, six hundred men appointed with weapons of war, and they went up and pitched in kiljath Jerem in Judah, wherefore they called that place Mahanadin. To this day, behold, it is behind Kirjathim, and they passed from there to Mount Ephraim, and came to the house of Micah. Then answered the five men that went to spy out the country of Laish, and said to their brethren, Do you know that there is in these houses an ephod, and teraphim, and a graven image, and a molten image? Now therefore consider what you have to do. And they turned aside there, and came to the house of the young man, the Levite, even to the house of Micah, and saluted him. And the six hundred men appointed with their weapons of war, which were of the children of Dan, stood by the entering of the gate. And the five men that went to spy out the land went up, and came in there, and took the graven image, and the ephod, and teraphim, and the molten image, and the priest stood in the entering of the gate with the six hundred men that were appointed with weapons of war. And these went into Micah's house and brought the carved image, the ephod, and the teraphim, and the molten image. Then said the priest to them, What do you? And they said to him, Hold your peace, lay your hand upon your mouth, and go with us, and be to us a father and a priest, it is better for you to be a priest to the house of one man, or that you be a priest to a tribe and a family in Israel. And the priest's heart was glad, and he took the ephod and the teraphim and the graven image, and went in the midst of the people. So they turned and departed and put the little ones and the cattle and the carriage before them. And when they were a good way from the house, Micah, the men that were in the houses near to Micah's house, were gathered together and overtook the children of Dan. And they cried to the children of Dan, and they turned their faces and said to Micah, What ails you that you come with such a company? And he said to them, You have taken away my gods which I made, 
and the priest, and you are gone away. And what have I more? And what is this that you say to me? What ails you? And the children of Dan said to him, Let not your voice be heard among us, lest any lest angry fellows run upon you, and you lose your life with the lives of your household. And the children of Dan went their way, and when Micah saw that they were too strong for him, he turned and went back to his house, and they took the things which Micah had made, and the priests which he had, and came to Laish to a people that were at quiet and secure, and they smote them with the edge of the sword, and burned the city with fire, and there was no deliverer because it was far from Zidon, and they had no business with any man, and it was in the valley that lies by Beth Rehob, and they built a city and dwell therein, and they called the name of the city Dan, after the name of Dan, their father, who was born to Israel. However, the name of the city was Laish at the first. And the children of Dan set up the graven image, and Jonathan the son of Gershom, the son of Manasseh, he and his sons were priests to the tribe of Dan until the day of the captivity of the land. And they set them up, Micah's graven image, which he made all the time that the house of God was in Shiloh.